Hey, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone's having a great weekend and getting some work done on their outdoor ponds. I know me, I've been motivated, and I've got an update on the massive Mutt Guppy Pond breeding system. That's right, folks, motivation. So motivated, it's a little bit after 7, and I've already been working for about an hour. Now, before I tell you all about that goodness, I want you to go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Why not? Just hit it. Then, go ahead and boop the notification bell so you know when I release one of these gems. And when we're all done talking about the massive Mutt Guppy Pond breeding system, go over to michaelsfishroom.com, my website, where you can buy guppies and plecos that I breed here in my fish room, and use promo code MFR10 for 10% off your entire purchase. That's right, folks. Memorial Day weekend sale. MFR 10. Why? Everyone else is doing it, so I'm jumping on board too. All right, as I said, folks, massive Mutt Guppy Pond update. Worked a little bit Friday night uh, and a little bit this morning, and we've got some, oh, and Saturday morning too. We've got an update. So uh, a couple things about the weather here and guppies and outdoor ponds. People have asked me, when should I put my fish out? And normally I always say when the uh, overnight lows are in the mid-60s, that's when I put them out. <coughs> I'm fine. Well, I put guppies out Friday night, which you'll see. And uh, I woke up Saturday morning, it was 57 degrees. And I'm like, wow. I go outside, everyone's perfect. During the day yesterday, I was in the low 70s, low to mid 70s here in South Jersey, which is fine. I wake up this morning and it's like 60 something degrees, like 63 degrees or something. But humid as you know what. Anyway. The guppies were fine. Would I put them out if we're going to have sustained temperatures in the 50s? No, absolutely not. But as the water temperature goes up during the day, it doesn't drop when the, as the temperature drops that fast. It's 60 gallons of water per tote, and uh, it will maintain its temperature for a couple hours for sure. So long story short, I put the guppies out already. If you're in South Jersey or anywhere south of here with similar weather or warmer, you should have your guppies out, in my opinion, already. Now... Now that I got that blabbering out of the way, grab a snack and a beverage. Let's go take a look at the massive Mutt Guppy Pond breeding system. All right? Fantastic. See you outside. All right, fishy folks. We're outside in the backyard. It is Friday afternoon. Just got back from Minneapolis. Uh, I did a great store tour of tamed waters. You'll see that video in a couple weeks when I'm in Japan. Phil and the guys there were spectacular. It might be my new favorite fish store. If, you ha if you're in the Minneapolis area, definitely check out Tamed Waters. Video coming, like I said, in about two weeks. Anyway, fishy folks, we're out here at the ponds. You can see there's some water hyacinths I purchased from my local fish store, as well as some mutt guppies we're gonna throw in here. Uh, the fish store owner, uh, bred some of these himself. There are some, a couple of, of bigger Dumbos in there. There's a platinum white male I picked up. He only had males. And some blues as well. And then I just got a plethora, for all you guys studying for your SAT, plethora of females, different mutt females. And we're going to spread them out in these two tubs. My plan is to count how many go in each tub. And at the end of the season, see, you know, what our yield is. Now, uh, I did also go ahead and put the uh, pinky filter floss around the uh, overflow. Of course, I haven't painted yet. I may paint tomorrow. We'll see. Um, and I haven't leveled yet because, like I said, I just got back. Now, at the last video, Rich from Rich's Fishes said he saw a drip from here, which is, might be where I'm losing some water. Look on the ground, it is a little wet. And I know there's a tiny drip from here, but not nearly as bad as it was when I first set it up before I used the uh, water pump pliers. So this drip here, I think is, is uh, I don't really know, because I did put Teflon tape there. So I may have to tighten that up a little bit, uh, but nothing's glued actually. It's just pressed fit in uh, because I had planned to paint it. So we'll see. Um, it did rain here in Jersey when I was gone, and I don't think the tubs changed height much at all. Um, this tub is a little lower than this tub, it looks like, but I don't know, we'll see. 
You can see that there's already some leaves uh, from the trees right above us uh, in the in the tubs and to be honest I don't really care now I do have to put some crushed coral in here I'm gonna put the guppies in um, as I said in the intro supposed to be in the 80s low to mid 80s all week next week overnight lows in the 60s which is exactly what I want um, because you know if it's in the 80s during the day the water is not gonna drop drastically overnight it's gonna drop a little bit as it cools off but it's 60 gallons of water it's probably 50 gallons of water ish uh, you know, that's not going to drop. It's going to maintain its temperature, if you know what I'm saying. So, all right, fishy folks, I'm going to go release some fish in here, and then uh, I'll come back. All right, fishy folks, somebody write this down. I put 11 females and 5 males in each tub. Now, I'm probably going to add some more females from my stock inside, because uh, I want more female-to-male ratio than I have. Um... But that's what I did. I'm gonna let them get acclimated out here. Uh, typically when I bring pond fish inside, I medicate. So I'm, I'm not gonna medicate unless I see anything. I did closely watch these guys at the store to make sure I didn't see anything unusual. You can see there's one pretty big dumbbell ear male right there. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of offspring he has. Um, and then down here we did the same. Uh, and you see that platinum white male um in there i'm looking forward to see what see what he does uh with the other females as well so plans for the weekend which i'm going to document are leveling the tubs possibly painting the pvc um the odds of me painting the pvc was like 80 percent i'm a little shocked at you guys that you think i have so much motivation uh, i also have a new pond i'll be setting up but you'll probably see that in another pond video so we got some work to do back here and uh, I got some more plants to get as well. So do me a favor and uh, stand by because I'm gonna come back when some more work is done. All right, fishy folks, it is now Sunday morning. It's about 7 a.m. I've been working out here since about six and I have completed one of the nets, hopefully to keep out the aliens from one tub. I'm, I'm going to uh, kind of let this play out for a week see if I need to make any adjustments and then make the second one for over there. But it's very simple. Uh, it's actually this netting. I'll put a link to something similar on Amazon. I did buy it at Lowe's um, and it's quadruple wrapped. So it's, it's wrapped once that way, once this way, again and again, four times. And hopefully that'll keep out dragonflies. Now, to my knowledge, dragonflies got to drop their butt in the surface of the water to lay their eggs. So I've made it very taut on the top. So even if, like I'm pressing my whole hand and it's, it is actually getting down to the bottom, to the water. But I don't think a dragonfly can push that much. Now, I have two concerns with the net. One, it's going to potentially stop the growth of, uh, you know, the um, water hyacinths growing up and out be it as it may that's fine um, and I am concerned that dragonflies can still get in so unfortunately this is what I have to go with like I said I'm gonna mess with it this week I'm gonna make sure it's okay make sure you know we don't have any holes or anything or I don't need to adjust or anything then I will make one for this tub now you can see I did add some crushed coral uh, I just took a couple of bags already from my established tanks in the basement um, and this will add some beneficial bacteria, which to be honest, I'm not concerned about 16 guppies in 60 ish gallons of water with lots of plants. I'm not concerned uh, about a cycle. Somebody asked me, do I cycle my ponds? Absolutely not. Um, as a matter of fact, even when I had small ponds, I didn't cycle them and I've never had a problem. Of course, I've never tested them, but I've never had dead fish. So take that for what it's worth. So let's talk about this net to hold to keep out dragonflies and other critters and varmints. Uh, it is one by one spindles for a deck and wire ties and the netting. I'll put, like I said, I'll put links to everything that I can up on the, uh, in the description below. Of course, it's an Amazon affiliate link. If you click on it, I will make at least $15,000 per click. So help me out. Anyway, all I did was I secured it uh, to one of the one side spindle. Now, originally I drilled holes to keep the wire tie secure, 
but then as I was adding more wire ties uh, to make it tighter and stuff uh, I just wrapped it around and I did that on the other side as well now what I did first was I just secured it with three wire ties I did the same on the other side and then once it was on the tub I pulled the inner the most bottom layer tight and then wrapped wire ties to keep it with tension or taut uh, and then after it was already on the the tub I added these wire these uh, spindles as a matter of fact I'm looking over here and I see that I have to clip these tails off I hate that so I got to do that now a couple of things over here I just kind of wound the uh, the netting together up around the return pipe um, I didn't want I didn't want to secure it to that I just I just wanted to keep it tight to keep out any critters that could come up the sides um, and also over here I kept I kept it off that pipe because to be honest the side of the plastic tub is pretty flimsy uh, when it comes to supporting a drain pipe and I don't want to cause any more leaks so um, it did rain a little bit last night I have a second uh, actually I guess this would be a fourth pond that I will be setting up and you'll be seeing that video maybe next week or when I'm in Japan um, or the week after that before I'm in Japan but uh, that one that big pond and it's it's bigger than these <laughs> um, had a little bit of water in it um, so it rained rained kind of hard I guess for a short period of time or it rained a long period of time not that hard I don't care how you do the math it rained and there was excess water and uh, you know we're still okay in these ponds so here's the drain or the return I'm not sure if I'm gonna put anything in there I might put one single strain uh, of guppy in there and see how it does we'll see so future plans still painting yes you know I'm surprised at the odds as I said before but um, I do have to make the net for this as I said I'll do that next weekend after I check that one out I may try um, bungee cords on this one um, a couple of people have suggested that's how they do it so I may try it I did buy all the materials those spindles are cheap they were like 84 cents each and you know I'm cheap I'm all about the cheapness so um, yeah that's about it I don't know if I talked a lot about this pump in the last video but it is a great all-around pump I think it's the echo 396 on Amazon I'll put another link in the description um, it, it's just great if you do water changes you can use it for water changes if you uh, you know just want to move water around in the fish room or in tanks it's great um, and also for ponds it's fantastic all right fishy folks that's it for the massive mutt guppy breeding system update uh, I am going to pick up a couple of more 100 gallon ponds today from Facebook marketplace uh, and actually a uh, somebody who's kind of in the community who I know locally uh, actually I don't, I've never met him but I know him on Facebook so all right fishy folks that's it for the update hope you guys enjoyed it uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and uh, you know get some good snacks and beverages for the next video keep on fishing no that's dumb I don't even know why I ended like that that's pretty stupid Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, before anything, I'd just like to say happy Memorial Day uh, to those of us in the United States who watch the videos. Um, Memorial Day in the United States is a day honoring those who have died, serving in the armed forces, uh, protecting me, my family, all my friends, my country, and my beliefs. So, uh, thank you so much. Wow, that was a little emotional, I gotta be honest. All right, pond update. Mutt guppy. No, holy. Hi, <sighs> fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor. Go ahead and boop the notification bell only after obliterating that subscription button. Then check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, where if you use promo code MFR10, you get 10% off your entire purchase for Memorial Day weekend. Now, Memorial Day in the United States is a holiday uh, celebrating 
the lot celebrating no that's that's not the right word that's stupid Hey, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun to you guys. I hope everyone's having a great Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. Memorial Day, for those of you that don't know, is to honor those who have given their lives uh, to protect our country in the armed forces. So, thank you very much. That sounded cheesy. Fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day weekend, Sunday fun day to you. Guys, before we get started in this fantastic video, do me a favor. Go ahead and boop the notification bell, but only after you obliterate the subscription button. Then check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, where for Memorial Day weekend only, mega sale, 10% off your entire purchase. Use promo code MFR, that's Michael's Fish Room, MFR10. 10% off the entire purchase. As I said, it's a Memorial Day weekend. I just want to take a second to uh, thank you to all the uh, veterans. No, I'm just, I'm babbling again. That's, I should probably not. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day, Sunday, fun day weekend. Guys, before we get started in the video, do me a favor, go ahead and, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it up. I'm gonna talk about the video, and then that's what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, as I said, Memorial Day weekend, I've been busy outside in the fish room. It would be the backyard, not the fish room. Holy crap, why can't I get this right? All right, fishy folks. I've been busy out in the backyard, working on the ponds. I've completed one net, which you're gonna see, and I have some other updates to give you, so Stand by. I why can't I why can't I make this intro? Because I'm a dumbass, that's why. Hi fishy folks and happy Memorial Day Sunday fun day. Guys, in today's massive epic dope. Now I'm just being stupid. Memorial Day weekend, Sunday fun day. Hope everyone had a great week and is having some uh, barbecues and remembering those who have lost their lives for Memorial Day. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new alien protection device, APD, we're going to call it. Made that up all by myself. This alien protection device is going to hopefully keep out dragonfly larvae from our mutt guppy ponds and make sure we have pretty good output this year because last year the aliens ruined it. So do me a favor, grab a snack and a beverage. Before you do that, I should... I should, yeah. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day, Sunday, fun day. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Maybe some barbecues, hanging out with friends and family. Please remember those who have given their lives in the armed forces protecting us. That's what the holiday is all about, not just fantastic sales. In today's fantastic, I said fantastic twice. Why did I say fantastic twice? Because I have no brain cells because it's 7 a.m. I'm working on like three hours sleep. I've already been up since six working on the pond. I really, I, need, I should get some sleep and coffee, but whatever. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day Sunday fun day. Guys, I hope everyone's having a great weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, honoring those who have given their lives in the armed forces protecting us. Today's fantastic video is going to go over uh, hi fishy folks and happy memorial day sunday fun day weekend guys today's spectacular video we're going to talk about the new mutt guppy the massive i forgot how could i forget massive it's the most important word youtube loves the word massive Hi, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day, Sunday, fun day. Hope everyone's having a great weekend, spending some time with family and friends, and, and what? I, why can't, oh. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday, fun day to you. Guys, it's Memorial Day weekend. Hope you guys are having a great barbecue with family and friends. 
I know I'm going to be grilling up some stuff later on today for dinner. Anyway, in today's spectacular video, an update to the massive Mutt Guppy Pond System. That's right, folks. I have installed one of the alien protection devices. That's right, folks, an APD. It's essentially a net to keep out dragonfly larvae. But do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. Grab a snack and a beverage. And when you're all set with that, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Use promo code MFR10 this weekend only for 10% off your entire purchase. It's good until Tuesday at 12 a.m. So you'll fry. You're fine. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Uh, I, w yeah, enjoy. Like, that's the best you got. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day, Sunday, fun day to you. Guys, in today's spectacular video, an update to the massive Mutt Guppy Pond breeding system. That's right, folks, an update already. Do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And, of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Use promo code MFR10, good until Monday at 12, for 10% off your entire purchase in honor of Memorial Day. Now. Here's what I want you to do. I have no idea. I, I really, I, I'm s Hi, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day, Sunday, fun day to you. Hope everyone had some good time to work on their outdoor ponds like I did. Seriously? Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, it's Memorial Day here in the United States. Most people have off tomorrow for Monday. Hope everyone's going to have fun doing whatever. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, in today's spectacular video, we're going to talk about an update on the massive Mutt Guppy Pond breeding system. That's right, folks. I've been slightly motivated, and I already have an update for you. So here's what I want you to do. First thing, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently boop the notification bell if you are subscribed or you haven't subscribed and you're going to subscribe. And then go ahead and grab a snack and a beverage and get ready for awesomeness in today's massive Mutt Guppy Pond update. Now, when you're all done with that stuff and then you're done watching this video two or 300 times, do me a favor and go ahead and head over to michaelsfishroom.com, buy some guppies or plecos, use promo code MFR10 for 10% off your entire purchase, good only for Memorial Day weekend. Why? That's the kind of guy I am. Stand by. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day weekend, Sunday fun day. Hope everyone's having a great weekend and getting some work done on their outdoor ponds. That's right, folks. I've been motivated. I've done some work on my outdoor ponds. The must-have. <laughs> Hiya, fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day weekend, Sunday, fun day to you. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I know I've been busy outside working on the massive Mutt Guppy Pond breeding system. That's right, folks. Motivated, and I already have an update for you. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Here's what I want you to do, fishy folks. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you're not a subscriber already because you get content like this, and it's spectacular. Then, if you're not a subscriber or you are a subscriber but don't have that notification button pressed, just reach out and boop right now boop that's what i want you to do now the weather here has been a little strange uh s friday night it was in the upper 50s last night it was in the lower 60s during the day saturday was in the mid 70s today it's supposed to be almost 90 and it, there's like 116 percent humidity outside already fat guys like me know this because we sweat like pigs anyway now that that's out of the way i i I got nothing. Hi, it... fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day, Sunday, fun day to you. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I know I've been busy 
working on my massive mutt guppy pond breeding system. That's right, folks. Motivation already an update. Here's what we should do, folks. When I say we, I mean you. Go ahead and obliterate that notification. No, not the no. Hi, you fishy folks, and happy Memorial Day Sunday fun day to you. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I know I've been outside working on my massive mutt guppy pond breeding system because I'm motivated to get that bad boy up and running and producing mutt guppies. So today's video is going to be an update. That's right, folks. Motivation, already an update. Here's what you should do. You should go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently, boop, the notification bell so you know when I release one of these fantastic new videos or perhaps go live. And then, when you're all done with that, check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, where for Memorial Day weekend, you can get 10% off your entire purchase using code... MFR 10. That's right, folks. MFR 10, 10% off your entire purchase, michaelsfishroom.com. All right, fishy folks. Like I said, I've been motivated. It is now a little bit after 7. I've been outside working since about 6 o'clock. I have some updates to the massive mutt guppy pond breeding system I want to show you and go over. Now, this video is going to have some affiliate links in it. As you know, Amazon pays me to talk about stuff. But also, as you know, I talk about stuff I like. Click that link. I make about $15,000 per click, so just keep clicking. I know. That's a joke. Anyway, that ruined it. That little bit ruined the whole intro, and I'm...